Hello, this is a quick video to show you how to drill and tap for a sling swivel stud in a barrel, be it a, a rifle or a shotgun barrel. Uh, setup is done using two V-blocks installed into a cross slide uh, drill press table. This is going to be for a 1032 uh, swivel stud. We're going to start by making a pilot hole with a 1964 drill. That's just to allow clearance for the end of the stud to fit flush with the uh, with the base of the ring here. Then we're going to use a uh, number 21 drill to drill the actual uh, blind hole for the tap. And then we're going to tap using a 10 by 32 taper. So let's get going here. This first hole is simply a very, very shallow hole to allow for clearance and it doesn't take much time to do. That one's done, we'll clean that up and get set up for the next uh, stage of drilling the blind hole. Now we've set up for the uh, blind hole using a number 21 drill. I'm using a real short, what's known as a jobber drill because I don't need a, uh, to go to a very great depth. And uh, this puts a little bit more control under the drill bit and uh, prevents breakage of the drill. So we'll go ahead and make that hole. Do this in a series of packs. Watch my guide. There we go. Okay, we'll get that cleaned up and prepare for the tapping operation. Okay, I've now mounted a uh, quill mounted tap arbor using a 10 by 32. I'm using a taper tap. You can also use a bottom tap. I don't care for them because I think they break a little easier than a taper and the taper will allow enough threads to get screwed down in there. It'll also fit a little bit tighter using a taper tap. To use this tool what we do is bring the quill down till the taps into the hole and then just begin are tapping I make about half quarter turns or so then back the tap up same time you just maintain pressure on the on the quill as it goes down probably can start to see those chips starting to flow up up the uh, clearance grooves in the tap. This is a good way to do this because it uh, keeps your threads clean as you go down and they don't tend to get as buggered up. Okay, we're at the bottom. Yep, one more. These quill mounted tap arbors are really nice because they keep the tap absolutely centered to the hole. And by doing that you get a nice concentric fit and there's much less risk of breaking the tap while you're doing this. Okay, we're just going to bring that tap up. the pressure off on the quill as we do so. There we go. And we'll go ahead and clean that up and get ready to install the stud. Alrighty. Here's our stud, swivel stud. We're going to install that in these installations, this is one of the rare occasions where I actually use a Loctite product on a gun. I'm not real big on Loctite for most applications. In this case, I do not want the stud to come loose, pull free of the, of the barrel. 
shank down there so I put a little bit of red Loctite up here at the base and I allowed it to just begin to set up. This will allow it from flowing down possibly getting onto the threads for the barrel uh, screw here and then locking that up. We don't want that to happen. So we'll go ahead and install it. Now in this case, I want to align this, this stud. I want my swivel to be facing this way instead of this way. So hopefully I've tapped down correctly and this will bottom out right about where I need it. Yeah, that's a wee bit off. And that's what that Loctite's good for. It'll lock it in the position I want. And the clearance allows it to fit nice and flush down here at the base. So we are good to go. Let that set up and this thing is ready to use.